My next guests are two hard-working guys from the Full Irish Radio Show in Manchester, Joe Cassidy and Martin Logan. You're very welcome. Thanks very much, Richard. Thank you, Richard. Both very hard-working presenters. Uh, well, uh, at the moment, anyway, yes. Uh, Tell us a bit of the history on the Full Irish Radio. How long has it been going? It's been going for just over eight years now, and it's uh, broadcast on one of the local community radio stations in Manchester. It's also broadcast on the World Wide Web. And uh, we've had a little bit of an uphill struggle over the years. You certainly have, yeah. You know, but uh, Martin's been with us for the last uh, six years, and uh, yeah. we're very fortunate. We've got a great team of volunteers uh, behind Fantastic. us. Fantastic. You're a very hard-working team, haven't you? We have indeed, uh, yeah. Uh, the show's uh, broadcast twice weekly. Uh, but we, we do do an awful lot of work uh, behind the scenes, yeah. and uh, we wouldn't be able to do it without I've seen the, the tour bus up and down. Very professional. Setup. We have indeed. It's just back from Ireland. There was a yeah. charity uh, event took place in Ireland, and uh, the bus went from Mizzenhead in Cork to Mallonhead in Donegal. And Joe, your show is on Sunday afternoons? Sundays 3 till 5. And Martin's yours Wednesday? 7 till 9. What's the difference now between the Wednesday show and the Sunday show? There's, uh, there's not a great deal of difference. I mean, really, the Sunday show would be more uh, request-based and phone-in uh, type of thing, uh, whereas Martin, well, I'll let Martin tell you what his show is. Yeah, well, the Wednesday night show is based really on three or four different items where we cover all the GA uh, from oh, Ireland. Right. Yeah. Very and, important. Uh, yeah, and all the GA here in Manchester and around Britain. Right. We always have, uh, and the soccer, of course. Are you a big fan of the GA? Yeah, games? yeah, yeah, big fan, a big Manchester United fan as well. Would you say yeah. have a, you have a good knowledge then of the, of the Well, games? yes, I've got quite a good knowledge. You need to, to be honest, yeah. because we've got to cover all elements of the GA right. and, and the soccer. And then uh, we review the Irish Post newspaper. Yeah. And What's your experience like in Radio Martin? I never had no experience until Joe invited me on the show six years ago. He's an old pro, though, isn't he? Yeah, he is, yeah. yeah, and Martin's gradually taken over since he's come in. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot of experience, Joe. With I have I've been DJing for and DJing. Uh, 25 years, and I've always been involved with the Irish radio in Manchester through a good friend of ours, Alan Keegan. Mm. Um, and whenever there was any of the uh, RSLs or community radio projects going on in Manchester, we were always involved in one way or another. And, uh, We've had a great run so far with yeah. the full Irish. So it's been now, I've been over a couple of times. We were very lucky to be over in the studio. You have indeed. It's absolutely bedlam there, isn't it, every week? It sure is, yeah. The I mean, phone never stops. The, the, the phone line is one of the, the strong points of yeah. the show. And, I mean, the Irish community in Manchester. You have a massive listenership. We're, we are very, very fortunate, but I think it's a, a sign of uh, the, the times and the age of a lot of the uh, Irish community in Manchester, particularly the first generation, who are getting a little bit more, you know, on in the years, and uh, yeah. the radio does give them the kind of link with the outside world. It's, an, it's a very important medium, isn't it, local yeah. radio, particularly, as I say, the full Irish radio. It gives them what's going on in it, the community. It does indeed. And and mass it, times, course, yeah, community uh, gatherings. Give all sorts yeah. of details on. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, keeps people up For to some date. people, it's their only lifeline in the community, mm -hmm. isn't it? Well, it is, yeah. We keep people up to date with all the what's on, what's going on in and around Manchester and Greater yeah. Manchester. Do you enjoy the work, Martin? Oh, it's fantastic, yeah. yeah. Really, really good. It's challenging. A lot of the stuff is challenging. Right. But, uh, yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah. And it's good to get involved in uh, Unfortunately, you have to enjoy it, Richard, because the money's not that great. <laughs> <laughs> you so both volunteers, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, the whole yeah. team, everybody who's involved with the station volunteer the time. And, and I mean, you couldn't bring a show like that two, two days a week unless you had a fantastic uh, backup. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Time. And uh, it is nice to see that people do do it for the love of, you yeah. know, the community and the, the love of the radio. You know, whereas uh, when, once money starts getting in the way, yeah. things yeah. do become really difficult then. Well, yeah, yeah, people start yeah. dictating. They do indeed, yeah, so. Now, let's move on. The full Irish Fun Day. This is an annual festival event every it's year. Indeed. It's a fantastic event. I've been twice, yeah. uh, sang at it mm. once. Uh, fantastic experience. Massive crowds. It is, yeah. I mean, the last couple of years now, we've been reaching over the 4,000 mark. and. Yeah. Uh, I've got to say, we've always had the weather against us. When did your first one start? Uh, this is our fifth year now, right. so you know it has to be. Again, a lot of hard work, strength. Martin. You, you yeah. were involved there with a lot of the sport presentations on the day. And yeah, well, there's a whole lots of stuff going on in the day. We've got children's races, which is uh, you know very good for the family. We've got loads of GEA stuff going on. Yeah. Got lots of stuff for the uh, children. Otherwise, you know, lots of amusements. And, and great lineup of entertainment, Joe. We've had some fantastic stars over the years: Susan McCann, Philomena Begley, 
Um, we have indeed. Uh, Ed, Ed and Quinn. Yeah, Alec Richard O'Brien. Who? Richard oh, O'Brien. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, headline in there one of yeah, the years yeah, for yeah. us. And Larry Cunningham last Larry year. Larry Cunningham. And Larry, yeah. yeah. And we've had a lot of the local. Carmen McLaughlin. Yeah. yeah and, uh, Michael Muldoon. And, Michael yeah. Muldoon, Pat Jordan. And, yeah. you know, uh, Peter Myler, another big favourite of ours. Yeah. yeah. But uh, we have uh, tried to bring one or two of the bands over from Ireland and give it to some of the more local acts yeah. as well. And yeah. uh, It's a great showcase for artists that's maybe just starting out as well, isn't it? It is indeed. I mean, this year. Seen by four or five thousand people is absolutely brilliant, isn't it? Of course, yeah. And I mean, we do publicise uh, the event well, so they do get a lot of mileage and a lot of coverage out of it. And uh, this year, one or two of the people who may not be as well known as uh, some of the main ones would be uh, Glenn Flynn and uh, Jerry Flanagan. And Jerry Flanagan's doing great business at the moment. Jerry at the moment, and Jerry's going to be appearing on our show next month. So that would be another plug for you, uh, because he'll be appearing on your show. He is uh, proven to be very, very popular. Uh, Are you finding it difficult with the sponsorship, Joe? Sponsorship has always been uh, a problem, really, and in the present climate, uh, we are happy to work a little bit harder on it, but uh, it's early days at the moment now, so yeah. we are hoping, you know, come and, close and to the who, time. Who do you get sponsorship from, is it? The majority of the, the local pubs and the Irish clubs have always been very good to us, but I mean, we do uh, rely on an, an awful lot of the local businesses yeah. as well, um, where they, they buy a banner, or sponsor a banner, I should say, for the main yeah. stage, which uh, we have been fortunate, but last year it was very difficult, and uh, we have fingers crossed this year, hopefully okay. it'll be... Uh, it's not easy. easy. It's not easy, no, and I mean, it never it's has getting, been. It's getting hard, isn't it? It is indeed, because there's an awful lot of charities all yeah. taking a bite at the same apple yeah. and, uh, yeah. you know, fingers crossed. But nevertheless, you have been very successful over the last few years and I'm sure it will continue to be successful. We have indeed. And me and Martin's been, uh, works very, very hard yeah. at oh, uh, I, I, I've seen funds. him. I've seen him on the DVDs <laughs> running about and uh, presentation. Well, you've got to have the dedication yeah. and you've got to have a good team around you. We yeah. have. We're uh, blessed really Again, with another, a lot of fun. A, a brilliant fun day, a brilliant day out, isn't it? Well, it is. And our fun day has become um, another type of day where so many people now come to meet each other that they don't yeah. see each other all right. during the year. And they come there and they all meet up from all yeah. angles of Manchester and yeah. different places. Yeah. So it's a good meeting day as well. It is. Joe, your mother works very hard behind the scenes, Margaret. She does. I'm not going to tell you how old she is, Richard, because no, she's not going to But uh, she does. Uh, she does she's a great got job. An she? amazing, uh, amazing stamina with her, with, uh, of course, the radio and the Roscommon Association. Most yeah. people in Manchester. All the dancers down in English Martyrs. Yes, yes, yeah, she's. Yeah. Uh, she is a great woman, and uh, I, I dare say uh, a little bit of us rubbed off into me. Or quite a lot of us rubbed off into me, yeah. in fact. Yeah. Well, listen, it's fantastic to have you down here. Thank you very much indeed for taking the trouble to come down. We're looking forward to seeing you all down at the fun day. Give us the dates, please. The dates of the fun day is Sunday the 29th of August, which is uh, of the bank holiday weekend. Yeah, appearing so live, Sean Cuddy. We have Sean Cuddy, we have Glenn Flynn, uh, we have uh, Jerry Flanagan, we have one of the local younger groups called Green Hot Clover. Martin, do you want to tell one or two of the other bits and pieces that are happening? Yeah, well, all the, oh, away from the music, of course, we've got uh, all the sport going on. We've got loads and loads of stalls for people to come down and... Uh, have a wander around and see what's going on. Loads of amu amusements for the children and uh, Gaelic football and lots of other stuff really. Okay, do you want to give out a, a telephone number and uh, a website details? Yes, the number to uh, get hold of us on is 0161973 If uh, there's nobody there, there is an answer machine, we will get back to you. And the email is info at thefullirish.net or you can visit the Full Irish website on okay. www.thefullirish.com. Thank you very much, and the details are on the screen now. And Joe Cassidy, Martin Logan, thank you very much indeed, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Keep up the good work. It's been an Thanks absolute you. pleasure. Thank you. Richard. Thanks indeed. Good, good luck with a little bit of Ireland. Thank you.